this is Elaine with Elaine's Creations and in this video I'm going to show you how to watercolor some wisterias with the Wisteria Wishes bundle. Here is my watercolored Wisteria Wishes card. I've used shimmery white cardstock for all the watercoloring. So I'm going to use a whole bunch of scrap paper because it gets a little bit messy and I have a whole collection of water painters along with my fresh freesia and gorgeous grape ink. I'm going to go ahead and get this whole piece of shimmery white super wet. So I'm just squeezing as I brush here. And then um, after I've got it wet, I'm gonna go ahead and start stamping the wisteria in the fresh freesia. And I'm just gonna let it get really watery. I'm just gonna kind of dry it off on the paper here because I don't wanna get a lot of water on the ink pad. I'm just gonna kind of go over it again. Maybe add one more. up here. All right, so now before it dries, I'm going to quickly stamp some of the gorgeous grape on top so that color will move around a bit. Looks like it's already drying. So I might spritz with some water to get some more movement on here. So I've got my water spritzer here and I'm just gonna move these out of the way. And I'm gonna kind of spritz this with water to get the ink to run a little bit more. Yes, like I said, it's going to be super wet. Okay, there we go. So it's moving, it's doing its thing. You can kind of maybe try and go in there and manipulate it just a little bit, not too much. Just maybe bring it down. Bring it up and then we will let this dry. All right, so next we're going to watercolor all of the pieces of wisteria. And again, I'm gonna get those really wet. So I'm gonna use my wide brush again. I'm gonna really squeeze. Oops, that one's got some green on it. So we'll use that for the the green leaves, but we're gonna get these really nice and wet. And then we're gonna grab some of the fresh freesia and grape ink again. So here's the grape and here's the fresh freesia. Looks like I need to add a little bit more so you can add that with your ink refill. And then I'm just gonna add some water and grab a little bit of fresh freesia and just go ahead and start at the top and add the color all the way down with lots of water because I want the grape that we're gonna add to use the water to move down into the wisteria color here. So I'm getting it nice and wet, nice and wet. Let's see, a little bit more on this one, a little bit more on this one. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the grape and I'm gonna get some dark, dark grape. I'm 
I'm going to try and get that all nice and wet. And then we go for the super dark. Let's see if I can get that to blend and go down a little bit. So I'm just squeezing this whole time. My thumb is gonna hurt later. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the more detailed one. I'm gonna squeeze some out of here and I'm just gonna add some really dark at the top. Try to get that to come down a little bit. And then you might need to add more ink. I'm running out of the dark. That's pretty good, it's pretty dark. Okay, and a little bit more gorgeous grape. So I want, you just keep adding layer upon layer of color until you have the color like you want it. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit more water. And I do want some more dark because I want there to be a big contrast between the end and the, whoops, bottom and the top. Whoops, that's a lot. <laughs> okay, dark. Dark, super dark, even darker. Okay, so those are done. Now we will move on to the garden green and we will move this aside to dry. Just kind of move it off um, a little bit here. So I'll take a couple of those move those over to dry. Okay, now I have all of the leaves and uh, the two uh, vine pieces here. So we'll go ahead and start with the vine pieces and get them nice and wet. And we'll get this nice and wet. And then this one nice and wet. And then we're gonna do a little bit of garden green and parakeet party. So we're gonna start with the parakeet party. I'm just gonna put that on all the ends. So we've got some parakeet party going. This one's gonna be a lot of parakeet party. Okay. And now we're gonna add some of the garden green. Garden green, I'm gonna move this over a little bit. Okay, done with the parakeet party. Add more garden green. And then I'm going to use the more detailed brush and I'm going to just add some of the dark, dark, dark. Let's see. There we go. A little bit of water, a little bit of water. There we go. Add some dark layers in there. Okay, I 
think that looks good. And then if you want, you can use like a little paper towel to dab up some of the extra water so it doesn't get on your ink pad. All right, so we're gonna just move all of these and we'll let those dry as well. Okay, so now we're gonna put the card together. So I've got a base of fresh freesia with some gorgeous grape. And so um, here's uh, one that I did earlier. So I'm going to adhere that with uh, dimensionals. Okay, last but not least, I wanted to show you the Wisteria Wishes bundle as well as the Charming Sentiments bundle. So I used the Charming Sentiments bundle to stamp and cut out this thank you. So here's the die right here that cuts that out. So this is a wonderful bundle with a whole bunch of sentiments and dies to cut them all out, plus all these extra dies as well. So I'm just going to put this on a dimensional and then we finish the card. So I'm offering a free card class when you purchase this bundle and it includes these three cards wonderful watercolored cards. So make sure to go to my website and click on the shop now button to place your order for the Wisteria Wonder Bundle. I'm sorry, Wisteria Wishes. I keep saying wonder. Wisteria Wishes and uh, use the current host code or place a $40 order with the current host code and email me and let me know that you would like this card kit and I will send it out to you for free. Thank you so much for watching my video tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell so that you know every time I go live or post a new video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.